Um, what I'm going to do today is, oh, I should have done this earlier when I built this, but I'll, I'll redo it again. Um, is I'm going to show you how to, first of all, remove a pair of plugs out of a EC3 connector. They're, they're actually good because you don't have to use any insulation at all if you have a look down here. just got the wires soldered straight into the connectors in those and there's no exposed wire so you don't need to worry about any insulation at all they're great and they snap in and they snap out so what you do to get them out is um, what I do is let's just say I'm going to replace this and, and use a new set of cables what I'll do is I'll just cut off the actually I'll get a bit, a bit of light over here that's better. I'm going to cut off these little cables flush, like so. And I'm just going to re-trim these about 3mm. And then I'll retin those in a moment. Okay. So we're going to need a few. I've got a soldering station over here. My, my trusty old um, Chinese special. Which is fantastic. I really enjoy it. Um, it's a 637D um, Huia, Ihua, Ihu, something like that. I don't know, but it's a copy of one of the um, ones you see. The numbers are the same. But anyway, it does a great job. So um, anyway, so what we're going to do is we need you need a few tools. You're going to need um, uh, some oil, using Tony's trick of rchelp.com. I've got my. Uh, rubber band on the end of my pliers here which are fantastic for holding parts and what I'm going to do with the part that I've cut off I'm just going to use a I'm, I'm just going to use an Align um, 3 three mil uh, hex tool but you can use a main shaft you can use anything that will fit in this hole without destroying the plastic so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit them over the top of this pair of pliers here and put um, I actually I'll use this little one here put them over the top of these pliers here and then using a pair of side cutters or something reasonably heavy just set it up squarely over the top and give it a nice sharp smack and that pop it out and same with the other one might need a couple but anyway it comes out so we've got those out now and that's still in perfect condition So what I'm going to do now, remember that the red one goes into the D-shaped one and the negative goes into the other one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hold the end of this in our little spring-loaded vice grips. Um, we're going to use, I've got a quite a fat tip on this soldering station. I'm going to just tin this quickly just so that it gets a bit more heat going through it. Um, I'll zoom out a little bit so you can kind of see. So I'm just going to tin this a wee bit. And 
I'm just going to heat this up on the side here. Get that out. There's one done. And then heat this one. That's two done. Okay, so now we're just going to tin these two wires. Make sure we've got this in the shot. Let's give these a bit of a tin. Give it a bit of a clean. Retin the tip. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put the terminals back into here. It's still quite warm. And basically we're going to melt it down. Hold the tip to the outside. It's gone solid. Okay, that's too long, so I need to cut off. I need to cut it down to about three mil because it's about five at the moment. There you go, nice little three mil tip there. Melt it down again. Let it go off, release it, put the other one in, excuse me, Okay, that's done. Right, and then what you do is you get your fitting. The D-shaped one your positive goes into. We'll wait for these to cool down a little bit. Are okay, actually. And then what you do is you just put them in. Oh, that black one's a little bit hot. Um, just put them down like so, actually get your soldering iron and just get that little bit of flag off. Just a little bit on each one. Okay, so we're just going to put the, in the D-shaped one, we're going to put the red fitting. Just sit it in there flush like so. Get a screw, flat blade screwdriver and then put down pressure and click and it goes. Same with the black one. Just put it down so it's nice and flush and then press hard and it will click. That's it. Beautiful. Done. And as you can see, you don't need any insulation or all because it's all insulated excellent just thought I'd share that with you guys someone was talking about it on the thing and I thought oh, I did that today and um, took out the, so that's how you can reuse an existing EC3 EC4 EC5 cheers guys and a great little fitting connector